Hello, I'm Ian Morris, and this is the Motorola Atrix, a very hotly anticipated dual-core 1 gigahertz Android smartphone. Now, uh, this is um, the, the reason people were excited about this is this is the first phone that claims that it can turn itself into um, a laptop, which it does with the help of this laptop that we'll talk about shortly. Um, but there are other features about this phone that are really interesting. For a start, it's one of the first phones, or if not the first phone, that features a fingerprint scanner uh, in order to get you into the phone. So instead of the normal locking process, uh, you um, where you would type in a pin, you simply swipe your finger across there um, and you're into the phone. Um, Enrollment is quite a straightforward process. Uh, they say you need about five to eight swipes um, and you do each of your index fingers uh, to make sure that if something happens to one of your fingers, uh, you cut it or something, you can still get into the phone. Uh, it's also backed up with a pin in case you uh, can't swipe for some reason or other, although we can't think of what that reason might be. Um, there's also um, an HDMI output on this uh, phone, which is used either in any of the docks that you can buy optionally, or on its own. Um, there's a media interface which you can use for playing video, photos and stuff like that on your TV, uh, which is quite handy. Uh, speaking of docks, there's a series available. Uh, they all look a bit like this, and the phone just slides in. This particular one is just a USB dock so it charges the phone um, you know uh, is quite basic and has audio output there is also a an HDMI dock which allows you to uh, move video and audio to your home cinema system uh, that can be bought with a remote control and also with this Bluetooth keyboard and mouse which enable you to sort of get some stuff done using this sort of uh, webtop interface that is installed on the phone itself uh, now that brings us quite neatly to the lap dock as it's known by Motorola. Now this is the bit that got everyone excited at CES. It is basically a very very thin and light sort of notebook style device uh, featuring a, a pretty nice looking screen and a keyboard and quite a large trackpad. There are also a couple of USB sockets on the back and um, a charging point. Uh, this has a battery and it's a three cell battery that Motorola says can power the screen and the phone for around eight hours. Now, without the phone, nothing happens. This is a completely dumb piece of equipment. There is really nothing going on here at all until you put the phone into the flip-up docking connector, at which point the phone should sort of switch off when you lift the screen. Uh, and all being well, the, the, the laptop will boot into this webtop interface. It's really more of an application that Motorola has included on the phone. Um, it's very, very basic. Um, but particularly at the moment, there really isn't much here um, aside from Firefox. You've got a file manager, you get the phone interface shown, you can text, you can use the phone as you would normally, um, and, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's really a very, very basic cut-down thing. It's good if you're going to work in the cloud, if you've used Google Docs at all, or if you use any other cloud services, it's good for that. But of course, if you lose connectivity at any point, then you really are scuppered. Um, but And also, we've found that this keyboard isn't the, the greatest to type on. Um, it's a good idea, but we think, for the future, what should probably happen is this should be either honeycomb or ice cream sandwich installed on the phone, and then you would get that interface on this screen, and that would be what you use for work. Uh, but maybe in the future, that's what Motorola will do.